This is TFNN, the Tiger Financial News Network. TFNN, headline news update. Good morning, everybody. I'm Tommy O'Brien, coming to you live from TFNN headquarters in St. Petersburg, Florida, 10 a.m. Eastern Time on Friday morning, 30 minutes into the trading day. And we have a mixed market so far to start things off. S&P's right now in the red by one point, trading at 29.79. Got the NASDAQ negative by 21, trading at 8,008. Dow Jones positive by 42 points, trading at 26,933. Gold contract trading to the downside under 1500 off $18 right now, trading at $14.97. Oil negative 63 cents, trading at $55.79. Notes and bonds, we got a little bit of lower price, higher yield, pretty muted action. 10 year negative two ticks, 13007. The 30 year negative 10 ticks, 162 flat. And the dollar index staying above 99, currently up 34 ticks at 99.166. And how about Bitcoin? Down 90 bucks today, but basically right at 8,000. We'll start things off. Let's jump over to the charts. We'll start it off with the indices. We'll start it off with the S&P 500, and you can see the slide. It begins right at the market open. We were trading at 29.89. The S&P is now 12 points below that level, 29.77 at session lows. NASDAQ 100, quite the same, quite a slide off the opening, <clears throat> off the opening bell. We open at 78.09, currently trading 77.56. There's your Dow 30 chart, not quite as big of an action. The Dow, the only index right now in the green, currently trading 26,899. Crude oil with some volatility this morning at about 6.20 a.m. We're trading at 56.52. You trade all the way under $55, and we're back above that level, trading 55.66. Quite a bounce from that low that took place at about 8.40 a.m. this morning. There's your gold contract trading lower from most of the overnight session. 1 a.m. Eastern time, we're at 1513. You dip down to a low within the last hour of 1493. Gold trading 1498. And the euro US dollar trading at 109.35. In terms of what else you have happening out there in the market for news, Wells Fargo. Wells Fargo getting a new CEO. The embattled bank dealing with their third CEO in about three or four years as they had dealt with some serious scandals. And to see how the market is liking that, though, WFC, come on, cooperate. WFC, Wells Fargo Corporation, it's trading at $50, up about 4%. Stay tuned, folks. Come back at 10 o'clock, live programming all Friday. Have a great day.